Look. Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. A moment's excitement, nothing more. Look, upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. Precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it.
and the lunar flame. Bloom. The dead return! This is double speed. Still remember what I taught you? 
Feel the flow of the memoria. Walk up the wall, and then get close to it. A solitary chain. Go say hello to it. <laughs> Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Okay, here we go. We landed safely. This is... amazing. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well... Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Morning. Go happy! Right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! <laughs> Time for a fun. <laughs> this is double speed. Blade of Moonlight. In Lunar Flame. No one will disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Ready. <laughs> Don't be too surprised. Is that... Firefly? Yes. It's what this room left behind. The memories of her. 
The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. mentioned your name thinking of you even in your absence seems like you two were pretty close she seems to be sharing her discovery with someone and it's related to the watchmaker she has no idea that she'll become a victim She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. She stares at the screens. Is she looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? She seems... very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. The situation has changed, and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. forced her to go that way. And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall male in silver armor. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But... why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? 
unless there's something else he cares more about and needs, or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. There's actually a path here! Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. thought she had escaped, but... She thought she had escaped, but... <sighs> After that, it's the end. Everyone, over there! Seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunter Sam. And 
Memo Keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else, all of you will die here. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Might be trickier to crack. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Received divinity. Nice teamwork. Yes. I will set the seas ablaze. You chose the wrong enemy. Blue. Save it for your own skin. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Earth operations. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! Step one, implementation. <laughs> Receive divinity. Save it for your own skin. Execution underway. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Dead. Implement. Clean up. Bloom. Good as new. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Stand down. This is double speed. I'll see you off. <laughs> now commencing. Gordon Earth operations. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! You took the bait. Tedious. Just later than you like. Implementation. You chose the wrong enemy. Receive divinity. Good as new. Incinerate and clean up. Blue. Save it for your own Repent. Spirit. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Eternal sleep is not the dead return! Dead? Can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> Nowhere to run. <laughs> I'll see you off. Receive divinity. Save it for your own skin. Time not. Execution. Oh. Underway! You implement implementation. Nothing major. Huh. More enemy. Ready for death. You chose the wrong enemy. Move. Good as new. Receive divinity. Lands at the ready. Not a scratch. No commencing. Earth operations. Can I have fun this time? Stand down. I'll see you off. Good as new. Execution. Underway!
Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. If that's the case... Leave the dance stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Well, perhaps the hunt, or destruction, or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Nicely done, as expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. 
Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, Without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Peniconi. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon. Uh, can I really believe a venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him, but this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty in contracts more than a merchant. But, always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, 
During this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles and water. Disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Go and meet Aventurine, or I could still choose not to help. <laughs> 